In fact, a tin machine represents for David a return to his origins, a return to that great period of man who sold the world, with a music that's not very far from heavy, no, no, something between Hendrix and Ziggy, a mix uh, dreamed up by David. As usual, David does what he wants, but as far as we're concerned, birdied or not, mustached or not, leader or not, the moment he snaps his fingers and zoom, we come running, anxious to hear anything that one of the most captivating personalities in rock music might have to say. This time around, the setting was in New York, and Rapido was there, of course. Shouldn't have we been? <laughs> David Bowie was accused of selling out to the Stadium League with his last three albums. Many fans should welcome the tighter Tin Machine as a return to form, as guitarist Reeves Gabriels explains. And I think the common denominator, you said that the people reacted that um, it was David has gotten back to his senses or he's uh, or gotten back to his roots. I think that if people are reacting like, ah, oh, he's finally playing music we, that we like, the people are saying that it's only because we're playing music we like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think that that that's a very about. major problem. Yeah. Without that's sounding it. too uh, corny you know. about it. Yeah, without sounding corny or cliche. That's really hard to be. David hasn't been afraid of loud guitars in the past, and Rapido wondered what made Tin Machine more than just another heavy Bowie album. I think the actual individual ideas and our interpretations of the things that we've learned as musicians through time make this band what it is, and we, we uh, stand or fall by our own talents and enthusiasms as to what we put into our music. And that's what will make uh, you have th two bands with the same roots and one will be great and one won't be great. disaffection in Tin Machine's lyrics appear to reflect Bowie's own attitude to life in the late 80s. For me, having a son of fast approaching school leaving age, he's 18 now, and if he doesn't go to university, he's going to have to go out and find a place in life. I can see the same fears and worries going through his head about how much of it he understands and, and exactly what is the purpose of, of daily life. It doesn't seem anymore to have any... Uh, the values that, that, that really mean a thing. You know, it's, it's very hard for him to understand the structure because in fact I think the structure is, seems to be decaying rapidly. <laughs> with John Lennon on fame and covered across the universe. Now on Tin Machine, Bowie again tackles a Lennon song, Working Class Hero. Did he feel a particular affinity? I think that might come out of the fact that both John and I probably travelled an incredible amount. I mean, other than just touring, you know. I mean, both of us, uh, I know John was always travelling here, there and everywhere when, it, when he wasn't working. And I tend to do much the same thing. And uh, so for me, the lyrics on that song are as much of a truism internationally as I presume they were for him, too. the big question for last. What's with the beard, Dave? Well, you know, it was a mistake that I was never able to kind of rectify because by the time we'd done our first photo sessions, I hadn't bothered to shave it off. So 